yours? Drake. Drake. All right. Anyways, thank you all for joining us on this new video with Tell You Everything. I'm Mama Payne. I'm back. And today's video, we are going to do just a simple recipe, comfort food, something to eat right now. Nothing is going to take forever. And it is actually just easy and delicious. So let's get started on how to make it. Guys, I don't know what's going on. Of course, you all know this is a wig. Um... I just decided to throw something on, celebrate a little bit. I'm not really into the Halloween spirit this year, um, but I'm trying. That's all that counts. That's all that matters. And I don't know what's going on with the voice again, um, but uh, I'm here. I'm awake. I'm a little excited. I'm doing a video, and that makes me happy, and that's what counts. Anyways, today, Ty and I, we're going, well, I'm going to do the soup, and here I have made a carrot cake yesterday, which it was absolutely delicious, but I have made some homemade sugar cookies. Yes, homemade sugar cookies. I know, y'all go ahead and laugh at me. This wig is really getting on my nerves. Should have just, ugh. Anyways, sugar cookies for Halloween. So, Ty's going to be decorating these sugar cookies at the table. I'm getting him all set for that. We have, let me go ahead and open these up. We have witch's hat. We have these really thick ones. Um, that didn't really turn out all that great because I used a different baking pan. Uh, we got pumpkins. We have ghosts. Let me tell you, these sugar cookies are amazing. They taste amazing. And we have a little bit of other stuff. But as he decorates, I'll be zooming in to show you guys how he's doing on his cookies. Alright. Now... My daughter Cassie is having a Halloween party tonight at her house. I usually, I am there. And I'm celebrating with them. And I usually make up a lot of goodies and take over. Um, and, well, this year I decided that just to make that homemade carrot cake and sugar cookies and just stay home and... And I'm okay with that. I'm a little sad that I, I'm i not going out doing my thing on Halloween like I usually do. Because you guys know I love Halloween. And my other channel, Exploring the Afterlife, they also know I love Halloween. This is my time to get out, find those ghosts and do whatever and tell scary stories and all that fun stuff. But not this year. So, with that being said, I hope Cassie, the kids, and everyone out there are having a good time. It's about to get started. Hope they have fun and they keep it safe. And tomorrow's another day. I may go with my uh, granddaughter Riley and my daughter Cassie to maybe go trick-or-treating with them. I'm not 100% sure or... It, you know, I may be doing cemetery for my other channel, which you guys need to go check out and subscribe, subscribe, okay? Let's do that, and let's make sure we grow that channel. It needs help, and I need you guys to help grow it. All right, anyway, so here are two things of uh, whatnots to decorate all the cookies. We have bats, and we have sparklies, uh, not sparklies, but sparkle things, and, which is pretty cool. And then we have it all, all to decorate Halloween cookies. So Mr. Payne will come out here and start decorating cookies. Me, on the other hand, we're going to get started with the soup. We can't forget the soup. This is something simple. 
I wasn't going to make it like a recipe video just of soup. I wanted to just let you guys know I'm doing better. I'm trying and I'm making a go at it. And I think this top light is a little bit much. It's shining. I like this better. I think, I, I don't know. Then you got this. I don't know. I can't figure it out. Anyways, I'm using some chicken broth, chicken, potatoes, and cabbage. And this is one of my mother's, my OG Mama Payne's uh, favorite uh, soup during the winter time. It's perfect for chilly nights. My sidekick wanted in. He had to go out. And like I said, it's nothing hard to make. It's simple. You can use, I've actually got bacon potatoes only because I didn't have the smaller potatoes. So you would probably need four or five, just depending on your family size. If it's bigger, then I would suggest more and more chicken. Um, I'm going to just use half a head of cabbage for because this is just going to be me and Ty. And that would feed us maybe two or three times. Who knows? I'm thinking we'll have plenty of leftovers for tomorrow. And it's supposed to be chilly tonight and tomorrow. So that's that would be good for us to eat. Um... So then, it's up to you, too, to add as much much chicken as you possibly want to add. But the more you add, the more broth you need to add. I mean, even though the chicken's going to make some broth, it helps to add, well, you, it's either water or chicken broth. And I would add chicken broth because if you have water, it's just not going to, the, the soup itself, it's not going to be, like, rich tasty. It'll taste like watered-down chicken noodle soup or something like that. But, um, then of course, as I go along, I'll show you what seasonings I use. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and peel these potatoes and chop up the chicken and kind of get things rolling. So, once I get it rolling, then I'll put it in this pot. And then I'll be back. Meanwhile... Here's Mr. Ty. What you gonna do there, Mr. Ty? Mm. Uh, I think I'm gonna make uh, pumpkin, man. Pumpkins? Yes. He's got the pumpkin going, and you got, and what you do is you take it and just make sure you uh, even it all out around there. Uh, if I got this on me, he's got bats. He's got a ghost, a ghost, two bats, a grave, hmm. what a tombstone and a yeah. pumpkin. So yeah, pretty good. Okay, so this is about the size you want to cut them, and then you want to just cut them in half, like that. Yes, we're listen to, listening to Hush, 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 Here Comes the Boogeyman, but I gotta stop before I get copyright. Well, I am chopping up potatoes and peeling potatoes and chopping up potatoes and doing the, the, the chicken. Go ahead and turn your stove on to medium heat and go ahead and put your broth in. That way it's starting to get, you know, hot and everything can be thrown in all at once. So it can start to cook. Alright guys, so I did say cut them in half, but these potatoes here are a little bigger than your average potato. So instead of just cutting them in half, I'm having to cut them in half and like quarters, I guess you call it. So half and then again, that way they won't be too big. Because then all you're going to have is a mouthful of potato and that's it. So yeah. And then... Actually, too, when you throw your chicken in there, your potatoes and all that, um, the cabbage, I would wait about 15 to 20 minutes before you add the cabbage. That way the cabbage doesn't get too, too soft. How's it going there, Ty? Oh, uh, well, I finished my pumpkin. Oh, check that out. That I is, am. that's an awesome sugar cookie. I'm too nice. Of a pumpkin. That is pretty cool. Y'all get a look at that. Uh, Very good, Tar. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. 
probably the one I'll be eating later on. Okay, so this is starting to boil a little bit. I'm about to add these potatoes. This is about the size of chicken that I want to put in my soup. Not too big and not too small. So I'm going to chop those up, the, the rest of these up, and I'm going to add that plus my seasoning. Okay guys, so I got the chicken chopped up in parts, chunks, and this is how much chicken. And um, that would feed about four people, but since it's just me and Ty, that would feed us tonight and tomorrow. And that's what I like. Leftovers. Now I could have used another um, thing of chicken broth. I thought I had to go check the cabinets and I only had one. So by the time I add these potatoes in there, it's going not to probably not be a lot of the soup. But I could add a little bit of water since it's broth on real chicken. Real chicken with chicken broth so it would make it real thick where I could add a little water so just had one so I gotta make the best of it this wig this wig okay at least it's not itchy all right seasoning I'm gonna use uh, parsley you could add a few pinches I add about five or seven because <laughs> I love celery okay then Onion, onion powder, probably, um, probably a teaspoon or you want to add a tablespoon, that's up to you, but I say teaspoon and a half maybe. Um, definitely got half garlic, same, probably a teaspoon and a half. And oregano. Now, oregano I would be very careful with because it's very strong. So I usually add about two to three pinches when I make any kind of soups. So just be careful. It depends on if you like the flavor or not. So, all right, so the seasonings are in with a few, a few pinches of salt because you know you gotta do that and then if you want to add pepper to it that's that's on, on you so you just mix it up really good make sure the seasonings are getting in on the juice really good there we go then it's time to add the potatoes okay problem here either my pot's too small or I added a little bit too much potatoes because like I said I had to work with baked potatoes and I didn't have the smaller size potatoes or I would have known how much potatoes to put in there but since there were baked potatoes I was kind of counting one potato baked potato and to two smaller ones and this is what I got that's a lot and like I told you guys the broth it's not all it's like thinning them down but my problem is is now I have to add the cabbage so will I be able to add half a head in there or not I'm gonna have to definitely add some water to it okay so I put a little water it gave me more broth and I'm adding my cabbage because it's been like 20 minutes or so so I'm adding my cabbage up top it's like I said this small pot but I'm adding my cabbage up top, and then I'm going to put a lid in it, on it, excuse me, and then I'm going to let that steam through, and that will bring this cabbage to a steam. It's going to steam it, and shrink it, and then I can just mix it up. So anyways, here's the top. That's going to steam up that cabbage like I said. And it will shrink it. And I'm able to stir it. Meanwhile, I'm just going to clean up this mess. And uh, let's go see how Ty's doing. 
Well, hello, Ty. Well, hello. What are you doing? Still making cookies. Still decorating I mean, cookies? Decorating. Yeah. So what do we got going now? Well, we got us a... Basically. Number one pumpkin. Then I'm a ghost. ghost. We got... That was, I don't know, bro. It was supposed to be like a, a skeleton, but it didn't work out. Okay. Uh, And then my best one's the bat. The bat is super cute, mm. and I'm loving that pumpkin, but I love that bat also. You even gave it eyes. And I gave now it Now we're doing a what? A witch's hat? Yes. Cool. I thought you would go with purple, but that's okay. The purple. Witch's doesn't. hat. You got plenty of witch's hat to decorate. It can be purple, orange, um, black. It doesn't matter, red, but we all know that witches' hats are basically a purple or a black, correct? Correct. 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 Okay, and he's got all this to work with, and we got tons more over here, and all these cookies and these sprinkles, Halloween sprinkles, and he's, oh, no, I didn't. You did. I did. Oh no. What the heck? Okay. My bad. My bad. Because you opened it and you didn't close it. It's got a sip lock thing on it. Did you uh, tear that up? Uh, no. That's how it's supposed to be. Okie dokie. Anyways. Yep. We got different size bats because Ty did a skinny bat and here's a fat bat. I want to munch into one of these cookies so bad I'm so hungry. I've not had anything today. What should I munch on? Possibly this pumpkin, this fat pumpkin. I think I will. Or, no, maybe I won't. Maybe, maybe a, um, let's go with the, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We got so many cookies. This is just for us and, yeah, I was thinking of a, a pumpkin. It'll do for now. One of your friends, one of your friends on Instagram mm. sent me a message mm. and wanted to know, will I mail him a piece of that carrot cake? Uh, <laughs> what's their username then? Um, forgive me. I can't think right now. I couldn't remember anything. So, but if you see this video, please forgive me. Um, I don't know. I don't think it... I'm not 100% sure, but you know who I'm talking about. It could about. be the Victor Mosquito. No, it wasn't Victor. Oh, was it? Um, God, I can't remember. Okay. I'm having one of my homemade sugar cookies. And oh my God. If I don't take this wig off, I'm going to scare my own self. But man, these are good. Good, good, good. Oh, look at, look at who wants a piece. Oh my goodness, he wants some. Might have to give him a taste, though. After all, it is All Hallows Eve. All the, all my pets get treats. Not just kids, but the pets. Can't forget the pets, okay? Alright, so when this soup is almost ready, I will let you guys see. I'm going to let it simmer for about... After I put that top on there, I would let it simmer for 30 minutes. Check it. Make sure you stir it in about another 10, and it should be ready. Ready, presto, ready to eat, and what have you, but hopefully it comes out good. I've made it several times. It's just been a long time since I've made this recipe. And like I said, I didn't want this whole video to be all about the soup. It's all about moi and that over there, Mr. Todd Payne, making... Halloween or decorating Halloween sugar cookies because we like Halloween as y'all can see all right I shall return okay guys I'm back and like I said once putting that cabbage in there with the lid it stained it and it shrunk it and look at all the broth I got so it's doing pretty good now I just let it simmer a little bit longer, but I mean this is good. This is actually good. I should have put fresh garlic in it, garlic in it, but my brain is like right now. So yeah. 
It's turning out pretty good. Definitely comfort food, food for a night like right now. It's cold outside. It feels like it's it feels like it's 50 degrees outside. So I couldn't add the um, forgot to add the fresh uh, garlic, and I used the uh, powdered garlic. But here's this. That's absolutely good. It's raw garlic, and that that would work. Oh, the swig. <laughs> You could actually add carrots to it if you want to, but Ty does not like um, soft carrots. I do not have carrots in the recipe, but you could add to it if you want. So, yeah. KK, what are you doing down there? Okay, guys. This looks like it is ready. So, let's turn it off. Now, let me say this. This kind of soup, we eat it, um, we eat it with a lemon or a lime, and I would prefer a lime, and we warm up the corn tortillas, and we add, you can add hot sauce, and you can put cilantro, a lot of people don't like cilantro, I love it, but I forgot to get it. So, no cilantro for me, but I will add my hot sauce to it. And pretty much that is it. That is it to, this, to the whole recipe. If you guys, well, not if you guys, but I will put it uh, down on the descriptions below so you guys can get an idea of how to make it. Um, this will feed, now that I added everything together, this will feed about four to five people. So think about that and remember what I put on it. If you double that, that would fit, feed up to about, say, maybe seven to eight people. So anyways, that is what you do with this, um, I just call it chicken cabbage soup. And we call it pollo, um, pollo sopa, um, and... That is that. But to me, I'm hungry and I'm ready to throw down on a bowl because you know me, once Mama Payne, she gets done with a making and doing a recipe, she's ready to shut it down and go eat. Before I go, I wanted to show you guys my son's room. He decided he was gonna decorate for Halloween. And here you go. Ooh, ghost on the wall. A pumpkin. Green lights. A bear. Like, can you guys see this face? Can you guys see the face? I can't even tell if you guys could see that face. Can you guys see that? And he's got the devil. Ooh. <laughs> He's got a murder scene going on over here. It says Happy Halloween with a murder scene. And then it's myself. And then, oh my god. Who is this? I sleep with myself. That is Ty. Can you tell us more about your room? What is this up here? I don't know. I forgot. But it kind of scares me because when I'm sleeping. The ghostess with the mostess. No, because it scares me because when I'm I can sleeping, imagine. I wake up and I forget it's there, so I just see a white thing floating. We got a room. glow light over there. Okay. And then we got. What? What is over here? We got oh, oh, lights. Oh. We got spider web with a spider. We got some skeletons up there, zombie looking things. And we got us a pumpkin over there. Hey. You did it. You outdid yourself in this room this year. You don't never do this. You don't never decorate for Halloween in his room. But I think this is the coolest thing up here because I have a ghost up on top of my head. And then I have a little pumpkin with a cat, a glow light, a glow light, which. Whoa. And. I did a little something in the living room. Like I said, nothing, not a whole lot. You might want to pause that for me. Um, 
So far, Ty got these cookies right here. I think he did great. He's going to continue on decorating some more. He's taking a break because we're going to eat. And in here in the living room, I have my little pillows. Halloween pillows. Mr. Salem here. My Salem, my kitty. Pumpkin. I got another black kitty. Um, I think these are the cutest pillows in the world. Got them at Walmart's. For like five to six bucks. I mean, these are the cutest pillows. Here's a fall and the witch. And that. And over here. Gotta get my ca Oh my gosh. I got my camera. For. Yeah, by the way. This is one of my cameras, y'all. You talking about some serious recording? It's so heavy that I rarely use it. Because it hurts my wrist. Um, so here's the pumpkin with the leaves right up in here. And then we got the fall pillows over here on the chair with my, uh, throw blanket. And, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Then I got her right here. You worry so much about me. And that is it in the house. I'll take you outside real quick because, like I said, I didn't decorate the way I wanted to. It's always really spooky in my house. But this year, I did a little bit, but the outside was more important to me because, as you guys could see, I have that light. I don't have everything. The sun didn't come out today. It was cloudy, so it's not going to show up everything. I have a pumpkin here. It's usually lit. Show my obese pumpkin, my. And here's a giant pumpkin that he picked, like really big. And then pumpkin over there that I didn't like. Got the flowers, another ghost pumpkin, and we got the skeleton with the the dried corn. And um, as y'all can see, I have the ghost. And I got the flowers going on over here with the ghost and the flowers. With my sidekick, Pookie, Mr. Hollows. And then we have us a ghost in the yard. Oh, he wants to fight. He's holding a pumpkin. And then we got us a tree, a spooky tree. And then we got a lit up tree up here. And... We got a little, of course, my big giant creepy tree over there. That's the outside. I don't know if you guys could see it. I really can't zoom in because I have the camera turned a certain way. But that is totally it for this video. And I do have, wait, hold on, guys. I do have the... Skull and bones and pumpkin over here. And you guys can't see it with the chains. Um, yeah, can't really see it as dark. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. That concludes this video. I appreciate you, your support, and hanging in there with me. Like I said, after we get done eating, me and Ty's gonna go eat. Or no, I mean, after we get done eating. We're going to digest, and then we're going to jump into another video on my other channel, Exploring the Afterlife. You guys don't want to miss that one, so please go over there and subscribe. Ty, where are you at? What? And that is it for us. Thank you for watching. I'm Mama Payne. I'm Ty. And that is it. Until next time, happy yeah. Halloween. <laughs> Halloween, man. Peace. Peace out. Force, force. Force.